a lot of the stories seem to be just kind of all over the place. You're jumping from night to day, back to night, back to day, and things are just all over the place. And when you do that, it's hard for the viewer to settle in and really understand the story. It's not very straightforward. So if you capture things in a way where there's a structure, things are unfolding, it makes things more interesting, it makes it easier for viewers to kind of form things in their mind and really just connect and understand a story. What about flaws in shooting that you noticed? Flaws in shooting, it, it seems like the, um, the shooters don't really grasp how to set up a scene, find a character and stick with it. So um, again, there's just, there seems to be kind of random, like nice pretty shots, uh, things that might look good on camera, some out of focus stuff here and some, some fancy camera work, but there, it seems like the, the photojournalist needs to focus on the story as much as the reporter does and really build a scene, multiple scenes throughout a story. So sequencing is lacking. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, one of the best stories that we saw yesterday was about a bakery. And there was a beautiful simplicity to it because it started with this bakery that makes a particular, um, a particular muffin. And uh, it just took us from the beginning, through the whole process, to the end. And it told us the story of this through interesting characters. And there was a simplicity to just a bakery but it was one of the more interesting pieces we saw throughout the day because of how it was told and because of the incredible sequencing that just really showed you each step of the way. So that can really help spice up a story. Did you also notice um, sort of a, a lack of, uh, I don't know, for lack of a better term, sort of beginning, middle, end, um, that stories not only jump around from, from time to time, day mm -hmm. to night, but they never seem to... Some of them just didn't seem to ever end. <laughs> Some had four endings. They, you didn't know how to wrap it up. And it's so important to know how to wrap things up so a viewer can kind of look back on the whole story and know that, okay, we're reaching a conclusion and you can really kind of go over in your mind what you've already seen and put it all together and, and leave with something important, leave with something worth taking away from.